Up in the food chain, rock with a rat tail, king's annotation, cover that the trap now, but the rest of the is a rap and a Yo guys, what is going on Timpercy and welcome back to another video on the channel. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to make this really cool looking gaming glowing logo. As you can see right here, this is what we'll be making. Um, you can choose whatever colour you want. The font that we will be using um, is called Long Haul. You can get it on dafont.com or you can get a font like it. You don't have to use this font, this is the font I'll be using. Um, we're going to make it slanted. So yeah, and also I will be using the 10k GFX pack. Uh, you can find that on my channel. So yeah, the first thing you want to do is make a dark background. You don't need to be fully black, just a bit before that. Alt backspace to fill it in. Double click on this background layer and press OK. So we can edit it. Um, and then the first thing I'm going to do is go over to my pack. And I'm going to choose this one right here. Drag it in. And then I'm just going to shrink it by pressing Shift and Alt. Like so. And then I'm going to bring down the opacity of it to about 20%, something like that. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to add a spot of white at the top. So go down to the bottom, white, and then just click at the top. And then I'm going to bring down the opacity of that a bit, like so. Next thing, you want to go to the text layer, and then whatever letter like your YouTube channel starts with, choose that. So for me, it's a T, and I'm going to bring the size up a bit. Once you've done that, rasterize it, and then you want to go over to the ruler, bring it in the middle, like so, and then bring the letter right in the middle, but it looks a bit off to me, even though it says it's in the middle, I'm, I'm just going to move it over a little bit. Then once you've done that, um, you want to double click on the layer, go to colour overlay, and choose a colour that you want to use, so I guess I'll choose like a blue. I don't want to choose the same colour as before. Rasterize it, press control and click on the thumbnail of it and then go to select, modify, contract and do about 8 or something and then press backspace and it'll make a nice little outline and that looks really nice. So now what you want to do is double click on the layer, go to gradient overlay, make sure it's black to white, blend mode overlay and change the opacity to about 30, so that's like so and then rasterize that. Um, and then the next thing we're going to do is duplicate it by pressing Ctrl J. Go to filter and then add a Gaussian blur to it. And mine's at 5.4 so you want something like that. And then you want to press Ctrl J again and then press Ctrl U on that new layer and then make it white by going to lightness and bring it at 100. And then you want to go to a rubber. I'm sorry if this is quick guys but I don't want to drag it on for too long, um, you can just pause it at certain points, it's really not that hard. Um, and then I'm going to just rub away a certain parts, so maybe over here, over there. And then you want to set this layer to overlay, and already you can see a slight glow to it, it looks very nice. Next thing, you want to um, go to the brush tool, choose the colour you've been using, so for me it's blue. And then in certain places, just click. So I might add one there, one there, and then change that to color dodge, and then bring down the opacity of that. Um, and then once you've done that, um, add a new layer, go to the color black. We're gonna add a shadow around the outside of it. Like so. So it kind of focuses on the center makes it look like it's actually in a dark room and something that is really glowing as you can see then you want to go over to the top where the adjustments are if you can't see them go to window adjustments and uh, we're going to add a brightness and contrast bring down the brightness and contrast up then go to curves and then make a little s shape bring this up bring this down go to exposure bring up the exposure bring up the offset a little bit, not too much, or else it will overpower it, and then bring the gamma correction up a little bit. Then go to colour balance, and whatever colour you've chosen, you want to kind of bring it towards that, so I'm going to bring the cyan up a little bit, 
bring up the magenta a tiny little bit and the blue of course bring that up then I want to group all that together by pressing Control G you can see it brings everything together nicely and it just makes it look a lot more clean makes the blue stand out more um, and then we're going to add a white spot at the top like so bring down the opacity of that and then we're going to add some small spots of white to certain places so let's say there make sure it's on a new layer though there 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 change it to overlay you can bring down the opacity of that a bit if you want so that's looking very nice already then we're going to go to the Timpers 10k GFX pack and you can choose really any background you don't even have to use this pack but I want to add a nice little thing to the background so I'm going to just decrease the size of this and I don't actually have to change the colour of this because it's already blue um, if it if yours is a different colour then you can press Control U and then change the colour of it this way and I'm going to change it to colour dodge and then once you've done that I'm going what I would say you do is get the eraser tool by the way if you want to know how I'm doing this press Control Alt right click and move left and right if you move up and down it does the hardness so that's how strong the eraser tool is and I'm just gonna click a few times in the middle so it kind of has a cool little outline around the sides the next thing I'm gonna do is go to the brush tool and I'm gonna go to a lighter blue and what I'm gonna do here is add some more little spots of blue change that to color dodge bring down the opacity of that and yeah that's basically it um, this is the basic thing I can go further and make it more advanced I, can, I might do another video on that but this is the basic thing I wanted to show you guys how to do uh, a few people asked me how to do this in the comments it's just a nice little glowing gaming text effect and this pack really works well with this you can even add other things such as flares um, one sec. maybe something like this obviously they can change the color through the hue and saturation um, I'm not sure it's up to you guys I don't know if that's a bit too empowering but yeah that's about it guys I hope you did enjoy let me know in the comments what videos you'd like to see from me next I know I'm not using a face cam right now but uh, I left my SD card at uni so I can't actually use my camera but I will be doing the face cam videos back in in about a week so stay tuned for that hit the like button subscribe if you are new and yeah I'll see you guys in the next video What's it, Brian? Yes.